Welcome to our channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever our new video comes out. A Thousand Years of Good Prayers is a short story by Ian Lee. It is a third-person narrative focusing on themes of communication barriers, love, sacrifice, regret and reflection. Mr. Sher, a man from China who claims to be a retired rocket scientist, embarks on a journey to the United States to visit his daughter, who has recently gone through a divorce. Despite his daughter's initial reluctance, he convinces her that his visit is for his 75th birthday and that he wants to explore the U.S. During his stay in a quaint Midwestern town, Mr. Sher finds himself largely alone as his daughter remains distant. He strikes up an unexpected friendship with an Iranian woman he affectionately calls Madam. Despite their limited English, they communicate effortlessly and frequently meet on a park bench in the mornings. Mr. Sher confides in Madam, sharing stories of his past, including his daughter's divorce and his admiration for her vibrant personality. His interactions with his daughter are strained. He cooks dinners for her, but she eats little and avoids conversations. Mr. Sher's concern for his daughter's happiness grows, especially as he worries that her divorce was somehow her fault. He reflects on his own life, remembering his wife and how they communicated minimally. Mr. Sher's attempts to engage his daughter in meaningful conversations are met with resistance. He believes that a woman should be deferential and attributes his wife's qualities to the ideal of a good woman. During dinner, his daughter reveals that she has booked a tour of the U.S. for him. This revelation follows her loud and enthusiastic conversation with a lover, which rattles Mr. Sher. She discloses that her ex-husband's inability to understand her feelings in Chinese contributed to their failed marriage, and she finds solace in speaking English with her new romantic interest. An argument ensues, during which she exposes his lie about being a rocket scientist. The next morning, Mr. Sher bids farewell to Madam, admitting that he wasn't a rocket scientist, but rather an ordinary worker who was demoted due to a misunderstanding involving an emotional relationship he had with a co-worker named Ilan. His refusal to admit to an affair resulted in the loss of his career. Mr. Sher realizes that he was in love with Elon, though their relationship was never physical. He shares with Madame his belief that life gains meaning through sacrifices. Amidst his personal revelations, Mr. Sher's relationship with his daughter reaches a turning point. He faces the truth of his past decisions and the impact they've had on his daughter's life. As he prepares to depart for his tour, he acknowledges his deep connection with Madame, who holds up a golden leaf as a symbol of their bond. In this foreign land, Mr. Sher embraces the present, understanding that life's meaning is shaped by choices and the connections we forge. In the short story, a palpable sense of loneliness engulfs Mr. Sher's daughter, exacerbated by her recent divorce. Despite his attempts to connect, Mr. Sher himself feels distant from her. His unlikely friendship with Madam becomes a source of solace, illustrating how even amidst loneliness, unexpected connections can offer comfort and companionship. Mr. Sher's journey is steeped in reflections of his past decisions. His demotion due to an unacknowledged emotional relationship haunts him, highlighting the theme of regret. He contemplates the roads not taken, especially his wife's unexpressed feelings and his daughter's emotional estrangement. This theme of reflection underscores the narrative's exploration of the weight of unspoken words and missed opportunities. Mr. Sher's sacrifice of his career for an ideal is juxtaposed with his daughter's divorce due to a lack of emotional expression. Both instances underscore the sacrifices made for different forms of love that is a career and a marriage. Mr. Sher grapples with his self-deception about being a rocket scientist. His persona is built on a lie shedding light on the theme of identity and self-deception. This refrain extends to his daughter, who initially pretends that she is content post-divorce. Their journeys reveal how self-deception can cloud one's perception of reality. Mr. Sher's journey from self-deception to self-realization marks his personal growth and transformation. His confessions to Madam and his daughter reflect a newfound willingness to confront his past.
This theme resonates in the daughter's trajectory as well, as she navigates her post-divorce identity and seeks growth. Mr. Schur's revelation of his demotion confronts him with his suppressed emotions. Similarly, his daughter's acknowledgement of her lack of communication confronts her with the reality of her failed marriage. Both instances exemplify the human endeavor to reconcile with past experiences. Mr. Schur's journey encapsulates the profound impact of communication barriers. His limited English prevents meaningful interactions with his daughter, leading to misunderstandings and emotional distance. His relationship with Madame defies these barriers. Despite their inability to communicate fluently, their conversations on a park bench reflect the power of nonverbal communication and shared experiences. Through this, the story accentuates how language, while pivotal, is not the sole conduit of expression. Mr. Scher's friendship with Madame exemplifies the transcendent nature of cross-cultural friendships. Despite their diverse backgrounds, they find common ground in their shared love for America and their struggles with communication. Madame's Iranian heritage and Mr. Scher's Chinese origins paint a backdrop of cultural differences, but their shared humanity unites them, illuminating the potential for friendship to transcend societal boundaries. While Mr. Scher's connection with Madame exemplifies how emotional bonds can be forged even without a shared language. On the other hand, his strained relationship with his daughter exposes the challenges of expressing emotions and vulnerability, underscoring the role of language in nurturing or inhibiting emotional intimacy.